Good morning. We're back on today is what day, Charlie? Wednesday. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're here with Charlie to answer any and all of your legal questions. We, it does sound like we have a couple calls on the line, but thank you for coming in. Sure. Appreciate it. Ready to get started? Yeah. It is chilly, but let's get into the phones. First caller, what's your question? Caller, can you hear us? Yes, hello. Hi, go ahead with your question. Yes, I'd like to know, uh, me and my wife are still married, or separated, and uh, the kids have been living with her. We took my son over to his grandma's, and uh, what I have to do to get custody of my son so he don't want to raise his son no more. Well, I, I mean, anytime you're involved in a marriage and it splits up, the best thing to do is go to court. Everybody needs to go to court and have a judge decide if the parties can't agree on where the children should be. If you do go to court, the criteria is the best interest of the child. And whatever, whatever, wherever the judge thinks or the court thinks that's the best for the child to be is where the child will be. Now what we try to do is kind of split that custody so that maybe they don't live in two places but both parents are involved in their lives because we want the children, the main thing in any of these divorces or child custody things is the children and then what, and what happens to the children. So th that's our main criteria. If you want to do that, you can, you can file papers on your own. You can represent yourself. It's usually better to have an attorney, in my opinion. Of course, I'm an attorney. You've got to realize that. But, but I, I think it's usually better to have an attorney. They know the system. They know the laws. They know what the judges want to hear. They know how to argue things. It's usually better to have an attorney representing you. So if you want to get custody of your children, it would be best to go to an attorney and then follow that, that, that attorney's advice. I'm going off of that question, talking about the best interest of the child, in your practice and in your experience, if for whatever reason you as a parent are found to maybe be not your presence in their life not to be in the best interest of the child, what's the process of sort of reforming that? Is there a time frame or is it, it really is case by case basis with a particular judge? Well, uh, every, every domestic case is based on the facts of that case and almost every case anywhere is based on the facts of that case and that's where, where people that aren't trained in the law get mixed up. They try to compare cases that have different facts or a little different uh, s certain thing in there that would change it but, but but the best thing always to do is is if if you're not a good parent and you get split up you need to try to become a good parent because what we want to do I think most of us want I hope is for our children to be better than us and the only way to do that is to be a good parent and support them and get them where they want to go so if unfortunately your marriage doesn't work out we still want our children of that marriage to come out well Thank you, Charlie. Mm -hmm. We do have a couple other calls, so let's get back to the phones. Caller, what's your question for Charlie? Yes, I would like to know if in filing Chapter 13 through the court system in the state of Kansas, if it is normal procedures for the court to take the payments that were supposed to be sent to your house payments and your uh, car payments and take that as administrative fees up front and then you find out that your house payments and stuff were not made because the court took all the payments of eight thousand you know two thousand three thousand a month that was supposed to go towards your house payments and car payments and uh, all of a sudden you're in the rears with your house payment when your attorney advised you that it would be you know all the money that you're paying Nothing. so you're just so you're just wondering if that's a normal allotment well I, I don't know that doesn't sound particularly normal to me and what I would do is, since you did say that you had an attorney, I would get a hold of my attorney and find out what's going on. If the attorney says, well, this is what we agreed, this is what the court ordered, and don't you remember when we said all that, well, that's one thing. If the, the attorney may say, oh, no, that's not what we were supposed to be doing at all, I would get a hold of my attorney. I mean, that's why you have attorneys, and sometimes they're a little hard to get a hold of, but the best thing to do is keep trying to get a hold of them because uh, uh, they've got a lot of, uh, going on at times and, and if you are persistent or make an appointment go in and see them they'll talk to you and they'll try to straighten that matter out and I think that's the best thing for you to do. Okay, gonna try, oh, sounds like we unfortunately don't have time to get to our third caller but if you have another question, Charlie is in every week, he's happy to answer your questions. We're gonna take a short break now but we're back in just a couple minutes.